The rising number of Omicron cases is now forcing schools to screen which students can attend in person. Our team coverage continues with new specialist Tamara Vaifanua. She tells us some schools have hit the threshold for tests to stay and others are pretty close. Park City High School begins the new year by implementing tests to stay. Starting this morning, students attending school in person had to test negative for COVID. Any student at Park City High testing positive will be sent home. Proof of a negative test within the last two days will be accepted. This comes as the Summit County Health Department implemented a new mask mandate at midnight requiring students to wear masks at schools. In Salt Lake County, there are at least five high schools that are more than halfway to the test-to-stay threshold, according to the state COVID-19 dashboard. Brighton, Corner Canyon, and Murray, and in the Granite School District, Skyline, and Olympus. Granite School District spokesperson Ben Horsley tells me they anticipate needing to initiate test-to-stay at Skyline and Olympus by early next week and fully expects both schools and others will reach the threshold sooner rather than later. While we are seeing a surge and a spike in COVID, um, it's just a reminder that the state of Utah and school districts locally are well prepared. The Omicron surge has led to staff shortages at several school districts. At Granite, it has been tough finding subs to cover teachers who are calling in sick. In many cases, teachers are combining classrooms or using their prep time to fill in. They say teachers are burnt out and exhausted, so the district has approved three days in the remainder of the school year where students will not have to attend school. That way, teachers have more time to prepare lessons. The first one is scheduled for Friday, January 28th. Teachers having adequate planning time and preparation time only enhances their instruction for our students. It's a remote learning day in the Canyons District, just one of several they have scheduled to give their teachers a break. Administrators, though, are once again calling for emergency subs, especially parents who are willing to sub even for half a day. For Live at 5, I'm Tamara Vaifanua.